Hello, my name is Vespianko. In this video I will talk about the switchblade from Solingen. It's like the typical Italian style that the switchblade has, but the blade is marked Solingen. So I guess over time they did make that style of knives as well in uh, Solingen. I never saw that much for sale, but uh, there were so many variants made. Uh, most of the variants that I saw and got were made in Italy. Uh, look pretty much the same. The scales you get in different colors. This one is like a burgundy color, reddish, dark reddish color. It's a little bit see-through, a little bit splash, swirl in it. Pretty good condition. The safety works too, but it is loose here. It's not gonna gonna stay in place. Uh, that one was found at the flea market here and we see on the blade it has a nail nick so the same blade was either be used in a switch blade variation or in a regular uh, pocket knife folding pocket knife without the spring so they could use the same blade for both knives uh, the big button in the middle is of course for open the knife up has a pretty good snap on it it is pretty fast uh, difference between the Italian ones the hole was at least on my samples never completely through there the locking hole for the mechanism but uh, that over time over the years many got made uh, we see on the blade tank there 440 stainless Solingen Solingen is a city in Germany that is famous for their blades and knives. They work with cutting uh, tools for decades there. It's a really old old uh, city for that is famous for such kind of work. And it's still going on. Many companies are there. Uh, if it's uh, outdoor knives, is it uh, tactical ones or kitchen knives and of course industrial cutting tools as well so the size on this one is more on the medium size uh, they had bigger ones of course and smaller ones as well has with my bigger hand a good handle length you still can use it well the construction is relatively flimsy it's sheet metal stampings that were pressed into shape and revetted together so that is not a hard working knife at all it's just more for fun in Italy where I got the first ones they did sell that back then in the 80s early 80s as fishing knives that they cut the fish with that but who knows what they really did with it the blade got a bit resharpened it's not brand new of course but still really well as the knife is open to close it you simply press that part here of the bolsters that will lift the locking part as we see that hole creates then the lock with the part of the blade uh, we see as the knife is folded there is that dimple that interlocks with the hole as the thing is being opened and it's it's pretty fast because the blade is light and compact uh, it doesn't go all the way to the end of the handle there but it's still pretty good uh, they made some variations with shorter blades than the handle length would allow in a, in a problem about the legal laws in a, that countries or areas where they did sell so I had that too but this one is pretty pretty well with the blade length to the handle length works nice uh, it's not for using it doesn't have any pocket clip so in today's standards that would be a poor pocket knife for using it's more a collectible and as I see such things at flea markets I try to rescue it uh, that one was only ten dollars and with a little bit cleaning and resharpening and a bit oiling it did work out really well except that the safety here is just just loose but that could have been from the factory 
factory that way already but the rest works pretty good uh, this one is actually working better than the Italian ones that I had uh, that could be good luck that could be also by the general quality but uh, if we look at the uh, fit and finish that is rather cheap or rather simple made unfortunately so that much about the uh, Soling in Germany made switchblade, uh, Italian style.